Yes. The first song we're going to sing is a great old hymn called The Solid Rock. And it's interesting because a lot of these old hymns come from like high places, you know, great churches, great old cathedrals. This, this, the guy that wrote this hymn, Edward Moat, he was the son of a bar owner and a cabinet maker and wrote this hymn as a cabinet maker. And here we are hundreds of years later singing it. There's a lesson in there somewhere. Um, I think it is that, you know, if you put your hands to uh, God's work, no matter what it is you do, you can do something special. He doesn't always use the, uh, the trained, I'll say. But everybody could use a good cabinet maker too every once in a while, so that's, that's good too. Uh, I'm going to invite you to stand. Before we get started, we just want to... Um make mention of Friday night we had a youth night here with the kids and we had this great worship time let me tell you something the youth of our church is worth investing in yeah. these kids were here they were on they were singing they were just praising God Friday night and it was an amazing time they had a uh, <clears throat> escape rooms we had all kinds of stuff but our youth of our church are worth investing in so we just wanted to mention it to you guys that uh, if you see them around make sure that we're encouraging them make sure that we're the ones that are discipling them and helping them grow. I echo that. Maybe if we set up the ping pong tables for these guys when they come in, they will get like they'll get all jazzed up and ready to go. Let's sing. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. Oh, Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground. Fails his lovely face. I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds it in the veil. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All other to know the Lord. His going out is sure as the dawn. He will come to us as the showers, as the spring rains that water the earth. Rock and 
passage together so let's start give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his steadfast love endures forever give thanks to the God of gods for his steadfast love endures forever give thanks to the Lord of Lords for his steadfast love endures forever to him who alone does great wonders for his steadfast love endures forever
heard around the throne and the living creatures and the elders the voice of many angels numbering myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands saying with a loud voice worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing and I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them saying to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. Do you feel the world is broken? Do you feel the shadows deepen? We do. Do you know that all the dark won't stop the light from getting through? We do. Do you wish that you could see it all made new? We do. Is all creation groaning? It is. Is a new creation coming? It is. Is the glory of the Lord to be the light within our midst? It is. Is it good that we remind ourselves of? He 
He's made us a kingdom and priest to God to reign with the Son. Is He worthy? Is He worthy of all blessing and honor and glory? Is He worthy? Is He worthy? Is He worthy? Only you are worthy to open the scroll. Thank you for your shed blood on the cross, the burden that you bore there for us, and that you rose again on the third day, and that we serve a living Savior who is worthy, who intends to dwell again with us. Hopefully sooner than later. Give us ears to hear now as we hear from the words, the direct words of your mouth. The Sermon on the Mount. Speak to our hearts and minds in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. 